Hey guys, this is Jack and Jacob from wikijackson.com and today we have a multi-app review for you guys. Okay guys, so the three apps we're going to be reviewing today are Penultimate, MyScript Calculator, and MyScript Memo. So the first app we're going to be opening is Penultimate. <clears throat> And you'll notice Evernote is on the front title screen. It's, be it's because uh, Evernote just purchased Penultimate, and it is now owned by Evernote, and that can sync with your Evernote account. So the first thing you'll notice is that I have a blank notebook right here. It has the current date and the current time. Plus the number of pages that is inside the notebook, which is all pretty useful to the user. Now what you'll notice is uh, the, the few buttons on the bottom of the front screen is there's a plus button on the bottom left which will allow you to get a whole new notebook and that'll open it right away you can tap the home to go back and close your notebooks venture through your different notebooks and all things like that and then this button right here which is familiar is you could e you could email your notebook print your notebook and you could also click this and it'll ask you if you want to open a notability which is if you have that and file manager if you have that as well and as well as if you can if you have iBooks you can open in that too so we'll click out of that and we'll click this one right here now this button lets you duplicate your notebook or you can merge this notebook into your other one and now I just merge this the first notebook into the second notebook we just created and now you'll you see that I have uh, two pages now because uh, on the other one I only had one page alright guys the last two buttons on this front page are the trash button which lets you delete your whole notebook and uh, this button right here, which just refreshes this main area. So we're going to create a new notebook, go inside of it, and we'll first talk about these three buttons right here. Okay, so you notice that we can come into here and choose any color. I'll choose a nice red and about a medium thickness. And we can write whatever we want in here. We can write something like, hello, and I'm sorry about the awkward handwriting. My hand is at a very awkward angle to draw this right now. Plus, I have terrible handwriting to begin with, so it's kind of a bad combination. But either way, you can write different things. You can well, write whatever. Obviously, your finger is the pen on this one. And you can change the color and the width with this nice little pen pop-up that comes up. Also, there's an eraser tool right here, which allows you to erase um, whatever text you've already put in or whatever drawings you've already done, which is pretty handy. And also, this is a pretty cool feature, is this is this, whoops, I didn't mean to create a new page, but this is like a cut and paste button, where you just draw a circle around the area that you want to cut, and you can basically move it around your document anywhere. So you want to move it up here, and you can tap out of it, and it'll keep it there forever. And now let's say you didn't want to do something like that, you can always hit the undo button, and it'll undo that action that you just did. And let's say that you made two mistakes in a row, and you did want it back up in that corner, you could always redo it, and place it back up there. So it's a very uh, convenient UI uh, for this app which makes it very easy to use. Okay guys, the next button we're going to be talking about is this button up in the top left corner as well as these buttons along the side. So what you notice is when I push this button up here is it displays all the pages I've created. I can go to my second page, my third page, and even my fourth page. And if I want to go back home I can click this and it'll bring me all the way back home or even if I wanted to get five pages I could swipe all the way down and to get back I just swipe down and it'll bring me the, to the next page. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with these buttons along the side. The first button is a clear page button. It's in a trash can icon. When you clear the page it obviously clears the page and lets you restart. And uh, this button right here along the side displays all the papers you could get right now we're in graph paper we can go into line paper which gives you a nice line paper like like school paper and then we can go into plain paper which is just like sketching paper that was a guy smiling and I'm terrible at drawing and now in the paper section there's a thing called paper shop this allows you to purchase any papers you want and uh, this one right here called writing has seven papers which are all free and if you were to click it it has all these previews of the different papers inside of that. Alright guys, since this one is free, we're going to show you how easy it is to download it. You click the free button, and then it'll ask you, the paper shop, would you like to install this collection? You click OK, and it, you'll notice that it pops up your papers tab, and then it starts to download the writing paper. 
So while it's downloading, we can go ahead and view some of the other papers in the paper shop. Uh, we have things like photo pages, which is 99 cents, and you can just click on it to preview some of the, uh, f the pages that they have in that package. We have a time and tasks, which is kind of like a notepad uh, section. We have a music composition section, which is pretty cool. We have a design collection, which has different uh, ways to like design with architecture type things. And uh, we also have a young writer section. Let's say uh, your three-year-old wants to play with your iPad. You can have him write some nice uh, short stories and draw a picture up in here like he used to do in kindergarten. And uh, also there's a game section, which is pretty cool. You can see tic-tac-toe right there. And over here, you can see all of your installed uh, collections would all be put at the end. And right here we have the writing section, which it looks like it is done installing. So let's go ahead and open that up and view some of the different pages in here. And as you'll notice, we have seven different uh, pages here and uh, you can click the storyboard graph and you'll notice that it has a little template for you to sketch on and uh, you'll notice it has line paper and graph paper in that one. Alright guys we're gonna go ahead and venture to these next three buttons right here so you'll notice that this button right here opens up this tab right here which lets you open up your camera and goes into your photos. You can click photos and it will uh, it'll have a nice thing right here where you could drag around a photo inside of your library this is just a screenshot on my iPhone and then when you click out of it it keeps it there so now you could draw on that picture alright guys another thing with this picture button is you can go to the camera however ours is just aiming at our desk so you can't really see anything but we could take a picture click use and then it'll use this picture and you could drag that around it has a nice white frame so you know what uh, where the border is of it and you can click out of it and now you can draw on it also note the nice little drop shadow that provides with the pictures alright guys the last two buttons to go over is this button which is often often familiar with in iOS it's the share button you could email your picture or notebook uh, save the, this page to your camera roll print it open this page in different applications such as file manager which is an app I have and uh, send this notebook by email which is also pretty cool and the last button here allows you to search your notes however we noticed that it's not very accurate so we typed, tried to type in hi and it says no results and we also tried to type in page and there's also no results maybe if you have neater handwriting let's say you're using a stylus or something it might come out a little more accurate but we are just kinda of freestyling on the spot you can tell it's not the neatest in the world but, yeah, it's not as accurate as it could be. Okay, so this app is free on the iOS App Store. It's called Penultimate, and it's really just a good all-around app for quickly jotting down some notes. All right, guys, so if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if uh, you have any questions, go ahead and leave us a comment. Follow us on Twitter and uh, add us to one of your circles in Google+. And thank you, guys.